guys understand what I'm saying? Like the English is working, it's, it's okay? Oh, thank you, thank you. You know, I was, uh, I was a little bit worried that you guys would not understand what I'm saying, but then I saw your president speaking. <laughs> <laughs> then I thought, uh, I think I'm okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, I know that a lot of people don't like Donald Trump, but I do like the guy. I have to tell you this, I do like Donald Trump. One people like. Yeah. I don't know how he got elected. One people. She was the only one. And, uh, but I like the guy. You know why? Because he gives me hope. For a guy like me coming to this country, he gives me hope. Because every time I look at him, I think the same. If a retard can be president here, I know I can be someone. I know I can be someone. That's, that's hope, man. A friend of mine told me, don't use the, the word retard. I don't speak English. I just memorized those jokes, so I don't speak English. Right? He told me, don't use retard, but I couldn't change the word. He told don't use retard, use uh, Kardashian. That's what he told me. I don't know if you can use, I don't know what it means, but it's like a... And you know what? It's, it has been very difficult for me to speak English. It's not easy, man. Because when I arrived here in America, like uh, three months ago, a cab driver told to me something, uh, Hafinha, you can say whatever you want in America, but please don't use the N-word, or people are going to kick your ass. <laughs> but he never told me what the N-word was. <laughs> so, for the past 90 days, I have been avoiding all words that starts with the letter N. <laughs> which is making my life pretty hard. <laughs> the other day, a gay guy came up to me and said, can I fuck your ass? And I was like, I guess, yeah. 